Jeez, I can't believe this is the eighth one. Well, there's only one thing to say if this is the last Fast and Furious movie. One last ride. What's going on, guys? Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another review. Today's review is for the eighth installment. Eighth installment of this popular action franchise, and it is The Fate of the Furious. This one's now being directed by F. Gary Gray, and it stars returning cast members Vin Diesel, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Michelle Rodriguez, Ludacris, and you got some newcomers like Charlize Theron, Scott Eastwood. Oh yeah, and Kurt Russell's back. So, what is the plot to Fate of the Furious is the question. Well, based on the trailers, you may know that Dom Toretto has gone rogue. Yeah, rogue. Um, yeah, there's some behind-the-scenes stuff going on with Dom Toretto in that he may be working for this evil terrorist played by Charlize Theron, and she's getting him to do stuff and turn evil and turn on his family. And it's up to the team to find out why Dom has turned against them and, of course, to take down Charlize Theron before she destroys the world and has this plan. I wanted to give a short synopsis of this because I don't want to give away any spoilers, but I was excited to see Fate of the Furious, to be honest. I am a fan of the Fast and Furious movies. If you haven't seen my previous video I did with Matthew V. Haynes, we ranked all seven of the previous Fast and Furious movies, and I would say my favorite's probably Furious 7. That movie was great, and it was such a great way to pay tribute to the late, great Paul Walker. Rest in peace, you were so missed in this movie. Not only that, but by the director of this movie, F. Gary Gray. I'm a huge fan of F. Gary Gray. I respect for what he did in Straight Outta Compton, which he directed in 2015. One of my favorite movies of that year by far, and I was excited that he was directing this movie. But I was also a little bit worried because this is the eighth installment of this franchise. I'm kind of thinking they're going way too overboard with this. I thought they should have ended it with seven with that final ending. It was so perfect. And yeah, I was a little worried going into this. And what did I think of Fate of the Furious, guys? I really enjoyed this movie a lot. And I'm not kidding, guys. I had a blast watching this movie. It was a fun, dumb, stupid, popcorn, cheesy action movie, just like every Fast and Furious movie has been. And if you can accept that with this franchise, if you take it too seriously, you're going to walk out disappointed. And you shouldn't, because this movie is known to not take it seriously. And that's what I enjoy. So let's jump right into the positives. We, of course, got to start with the performances. I thought the performances in this movie were actually pretty great. Starting with Vin Diesel, of course, as Dom Toretto. Very likable character. Yeah, Vin Diesel's not the greatest actors in the world, like mm, Triple X, but he's still great as this character. Dom Toretto, he really, I really like what they did with Dom in this movie, going evil and rogue. That's something I haven't seen before, and I thought they did a pretty good job with it in this movie. There's a bunch of conflicts for Dom's character in this movie. So many twists and turns that you're not expecting, and... I really like all the struggles that Dom's going through in this movie, and it's really well explained and very intense of a situation for him. All the other characters are great. The Rock, Dwayne Johnson's always great as Hobbs. Jason Statham also returns in this movie. He's really funny. Michelle Rodriguez, Tyrese Gibson, and Kurt Russell's back. And also, Charlize Theron's the newest addition as the villain, and God, I hate hated her character in this movie and not because I hated her performance but her character is just uh, she's so evil now I got to talk about the action sequences yeah I'm talking about the action the action is awesome in this movie and based on the trailers I was expecting a bunch of cheese over the top can't take this seriously action and this movie brought it from beginning to end 
You have the opening car chase, like every Fast and Furious movie, apparently has to open with a car chase, of course. That was pretty fun. You also had some great shootouts involving a bunch of cars. That submarine that you saw in the trailer, you think you saw a lot of it? Nope. <laughs> you only saw a little bit of it because that scene was so badass. I also got to give props to the direction by F. Gary Gray. I thought he did a good job directing this movie. I mean, coming in, he's a big fan of this franchise and he made just what I was expecting. I thought he did a good job with the action scenes way better than James Wan did in Furious 7. Here he upped the stakes and I thought it was pretty fun. However, this movie's not perfect by any means. I did have some gripes with it. It's not the best in this franchise, but yeah, there's problems with it. It's the way that action is shot. Some sequences in this movie felt really choppy, very poorly edited, and it's fairly obvious that the camera was moving all over the place and you're not seeing enough of the action. It was kind of shaky cam, not fully, just I wanted to see better film action and the action sometimes is very choppily edited and it doesn't look that good. Another gripe I had is the characters in this movie, they didn't feel as strong. There was one character in particular and that's Scott Eastwood's character. Now this is an actor that I have high hopes for in the future. This is Clint Eastwood's son. And in this movie, I found him very cringeworthy. Like he's trying so hard to be a part of the crew. Like he's trying to be one character. Brian O'Connor, I'm being honest guys. Scott Eastwood is not Paul Walker. He is trying to be that character. And I felt that really dragged the movie down a lot. Also, some of the effects in this movie look pretty bad. I mean, the fire, the CGI fire, the action. You can tell some scenes were shot in a green screen room. It just kind of shocked me, like, what I was looking at. I mean, it didn't look great. It was just like, what even is that? And that's all my gripes I had with Fate of the Furious. Overall, this is not a terrible movie. This is just a fun popcorn stupid fun time you can have at the movie theater it's another installment in the fast and furious franchise that doesn't take itself seriously but it had great action scenes good characters still just one character in particular just didn't work for me overall guys i definitely recommend to see fate of the furious on my rating scale i'm gonna give fate of the furious a four out of five stars another fun entry in this franchise. All right, guys, that was my review for Fate of the Furious. Have you guys seen this movie yet? Are you going to go see it? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Thank you guys, as always, for watching this review. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!